Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. In this video, we are going to see the design and simulation of an inverting amplifier in MATLAB. So let's get started. This is a circuit diagram of an inverting amplifier. So first let us understand what is an amplifier. Amplifier is basically a device that is used to boost the signal of uh, the input that is supplied to a higher level than the supplied input. So for example, if you have an input of 5 volt, it will boost it to a greater voltage that is at least greater than 5 volt, say equal to 10 or 15 or 20 depending upon the values of the particular elements that are used in the circuit. So what is an inverting amplifier then? So uh, inverting amplifier is basically a circuit that, use, that is used to produce a phase shift of 180 degree with respect to the input. So when we have a sinusoidal signal in this particular fashion, the output will be having a phase shift of about 180 degree with respect to the input. So these type of circuits are called as inverting amplifier. So two important things to observe. The output voltage is amplified. So that is if the supply is 1, the output is 2. Just to show an example, these are not the exact values that we are doing in simulation. But to give you an overview of what it is and the phase shift between the input and output signal is 180 degree. So that is the reason uh, why I have uh, demonstrated with respect to the waveforms as well. So now what is the design aspect with respect to operational amplifier? Every design requires certain assumption. Without certain assumptions, you will never be able to start a design. So first assumption is Vs is equal to 0.5 volt, a sinusoidal signal with a voltage of 0.5 volt. We are assuming or we are having a name in order to obtain a gain of about minus 5. So uh, what are the values that we have to design for an inverting amplifier? So if you have to have a gain of about minus 5, either we can choose the value of Rf to be equal to 50 kilo ohm and R1 equal to 10 kilo ohm or you can choose RF and R1 such that the ratio of RF by R1 will be equal to 5. In such a way, we will be able to decide. You can also choose uh, RF to be equal to uh, 50 uh, ohms and R1 to be equal to 10 ohm. However, the ratio will be equal to 5, isn't it? So the gain is nothing but minus of RF by R1 in case of an inverting amplifier. So that value will be equal to minus 5. So based on that, you can design or choose the value of RF and R1. I am choosing uh, 50 kilo ohm and R1 to be equal to 10 kilo ohm. So higher the value that you're choosing better is the response with respect to the circuit so uh, that is with respect to the frequency analysis of a particular signal so what is v out then v out is nothing but gain into v in 5 into 0.5 you'll be getting 2.5 volt so our aim is to obtain an output voltage of 2.5 volt with a phase shift of about 180 degree with respect to the input signal. So we will be choosing RF and R1 values. We will be designing according to it. So once we ha understood what an inverting amplifier is and uh, looking at a circuit diagram and the design procedure, now we can get started with simulating them in MATLAB. So let's get started. Let's simulate them in MATLAB. All right, here we are. So one of the most uh, important features that MATLAB has provided is the Simulink library browser. So click on that and we will be searching for the components directly over here uh, based on our requirement. Of course, we need an AC voltage source, so search for it. So one of the most important aspects to remember is with respect to operational amplifiers, the circuit diagram, the schematics that you are actually simulating in MATLAB, you must definitely have a uh, you have to choose them whichever in, is in blue in color. You see two AC voltage source. This is used for power electronic applications. This is used for operational amplifiers and digital signal processing applications. So add this uh, block AC voltage source block and once this is done our next uh, block that we require is uh, an um, electrical ground. So search for electrical reference. You will be getting it uh, right away. So electrical reference is what we want. So search for it. You will be getting it over here. The ones in blue you have to select. So add that block as well. Once that is done, we need a voltage sensor. So search for voltage sensor. You will be getting that block uh, over here. So add this block. This is used in order to measure the amount of output voltage that is there. And it uh, basically gives us it is basically a sensor which is in physical quantity so uh, we'll be able to measure the amount or, or the C with the help of this we'll be able to uh, see how the waveform looks like by connecting it to a scope so once this is done we will be requiring a solver configuration block very very important block this is used uh, in order to uh, sim if you don't have this block the simulation will not take place the reason is pretty simple this is used to enter the solver parameters that is there in the circuit so uh, for the simulation to take place you need to uh, automatically MATLAB does this function uh, in the back end it will add the solver parameters for this particular uh, circuit that you're building and it will be able to simulate with respect to simscape so once this block is so we would be requiring a PC a PS simulink converter so search for simulink converter 
you will be getting it uh, right over here so add this block as well uh, so this is one of the most important blocks the reason why we need this is to convert the physical quantities into uh, simscape with respect to simulink library uh, because uh, there are voltage sensors all these sensors are physical parameters you need to convert those physical parameters into simulink uh, functionality uh, that's the reason why we need this block very very important block and uh, once this is done we would require a resistor so search for resistor and uh, you will be getting it uh, right over at the bottom so over here so be very careful as I already told you select the ones that are there in blue uh, not the one that is there in black so you also need an op amp so search for operational amplifier you will be getting it right away here so add this block as well so we have added all the parameters or the blocks that are required for our circuit to simulate so we will place them in appropriate position so that we can get started off with our circuit connections so we will be requiring an AC voltage source that is connected in this particular fashion important thing to do is you see uh, with respect to op amp it is positive and negative we will uh, change that in the opposite direction how do we do that so once you right click you will be having an option called rotate and flip go to flip block and select up down so you'll be getting minus plus here so one of the most commonly made mistakes by students is this one so be very careful while doing this so once this is done we will be requiring another resistor in the feedback path as well so we will be uh, connecting that in these two positions appropriately and uh, we would also require to uh, connect the AC source across this particular point with respect to ground and uh, we will be doing that uh, and ground is to be connected to this particular point so we can use the same ground in order to connect the other end of the supply and uh, once that is done uh, we would be requiring a scope so let's let's search for scope as well this is required in order to uh, see how the waveform output waveforms look like so very important block so add this block as well over here and once this is done uh, we would be requiring two voltage sensors that is one at the input and one at the output so uh, we will be uh, connecting this between the positive terminal of the supply and with respect to ground that is negative and we will be converting them into uh, the parameters that is these are physical quantities the sensors or uh, dash dashboard that you use or the dashboard that you call uh, or any other sensors for that matter vibration sensors all of them are physical parameters and you need to convert it and that's the reason why we will be requiring this i'm copy pasting that because we need it for another voltage sensor so connect it directly at this point and once this is done we also need a voltage sensor to be measured at the output end so connect this between this point and connect this to the ground so uh, the other terminal of this is connected to this physical ps uh, simulink converter and once this is done we have connected all the portions with respect to this and f of x is equal to zero this is uh, the solver configuration that can be connected to any of the terminals over here it should be connected to the circuit that is it so once that is done we will be setting up the values of uh, our uh, respective resistances so we will be requiring a resistance of about 50 kilo ohms so select uh, kilo ohm over here and click on ok we will be choosing the input resistor to be equal to 10 kilo ohm so select 10 and then uh, select kilo ohm over here and click on ok once all of these is done we will be setting up the supply voltage as well it should be 0.5 volt and uh, our frequency that we'll be selecting is 1 kilohertz generally uh, they can operate at much higher frequencies as well but we are selecting only 1000 kilo thousand hertz in this case uh, once this is done we have entered all the parameters that are required so we will be changing the simulation time over here we'll be changing it to 0 0.002 be very very careful if you are having a huge simulation time with respect to uh, signals and circuit signals and systems or dsp circuits or operational amplifiers or amplifiers for that matter the simulation time should be very small so that uh, if you have a huge simulation time trust me you will never get the output with respect to the visual representation at the output terminals so be very careful with entering uh, this particular simulation time over here once this is done let us uh, double click on the scope in order to check how the output waveform looks like so over here you can clearly see this is the supply voltage which is in indicated in yellow and this is this is approximately 0.5 and this is the one which is uh, at the output that is uh, approximately 
it is uh, equal to 2.5 volt it is clearly indicated over here and consequently it is having a phase shift of about 180 degrees so clearly we we are getting the exact output that is supposed to be obtained and this is how we will be able to simulate inverting amplifier with respect to understanding the design aspect and as well as simulation i hope this simulation has given you a clear understanding of how it can be done in matlab in case you have any questions feel free to reach out to me by typing in your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching this video please do keep supporting thank you